<coughs> Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. Uh, in this video, I will be showing you how to work with the mouse area component. It's a very useful component in QML, which you will be using a lot. It's useful when you want to like capture any mouse signal, like if you want to capture any mouse events or any mouse signals for any component. So this is a plain application. Here's a window and there's a rectangle inside that window whose color is light green uh, and it's in the center of the window with a width of 100 and a height of 100, right? Let's run the application and see it once, right? But if I click on this rectangle, like nothing happens, right? Now, but if I want to capture the mouse click event, right? If I want to capture the click event and I want to print something or I want to do something, right? How can I achieve that? Now, let's see if there is a on click signal here. But if you see like there is no one click signal, right? But if you remember there was there was a click signal for a button, right? So for button I have to import cute quick sorry dot controls and it's uh, a better practice to import any basic or any other like already predefined control, right? Like material or fusion. So for button, like there is an on click signal if you see, but there is no such thing for rectangle or most of the other components right for example label or any, any other thing right so now how to like handle any click event for a rectangle right let's see first yeah now it's fine so for that we need to use something called a mouse area right now what's a mouse area it's a like transparent uh, component like you won't be able to see anything it does not have any color of its own or any like or any opacity of its own is transparent and if you like give it some width and height it will like fill that area and any click event or any mouse event that occurs in that region will be captured like if you like let's say this is the mouse area if you hover your mouse or if you click over here this mouse area this component will capture that mouse event right let's see it in action like first i will say anchors.fill parent so the mouse area is fully covering this rectangle right and then let's see on click we are handling the click signal right so let's say when it's clicked i'll console log rectangle clicked now let's run the application once and see come on see now i'm clicking outside uh, but but nothing is happening but as soon as I click on this rectangle, like if you see, uh, there is a printing message here at the bottom of the window, which says rectangle clicked, right? So if I click outside, nothing will happen. But as soon as I click on here, like if I clear it once more and show you, but if I click outside, nothing happens, right? So this is one of the signal, right? So now clicked is a signal we want to handle, right? Uh, but let's say, uh, let's run the application once more. The right now the color of the rectangle is green right but let's say when i uh, like uh, hover the mouse over this rectangle i want to change this color manually right so let's say i put my mouse over this rectangle then i want the color to be let's say blue or let's say red right let's say red so if i put the mouse outside here it will be green but as soon as i move the mouse here it should be red right so how can i achieve that uh, there is something called hover but it's not a good signal in QML. i'll show you why so for that you need to enable hovering right so i will say hover enable true this is important uh, so that uh, the mouse area will also capture any hovering or hovering effect right so now on hover changed don't go for the hover enable changed uh, that's only capturing this this one but we are concerned with the hover change signal like if you use if you hover over it or if you move the hover over it like if you move away from it so let's say I'll console log right now. Console log, or I think a better thing would be to give this an ID. Let's say rect, and I want to change the rectangle's color to be let's say red. I think this is a red color. Yeah, let's run the application once. let's see right now it's red right but if i move away uh, like there is no way for me to like uh, see if the hover is like moved out or not right so if i move in like let me run the application once more if i move in the color will change but if i move out like there is no way for me to handle both of the signals right 
at once so this is not a good signal right so a better way to handle hovering is on entered and exited signal so there is one signal called on entered and as I press it it's when you enter the mouse area and there is one called on exited it's when you exit the mouse area right so here let me change the color to let's say red so I'll say rect which is this rectangles id rect dot color equals any red color just show it yeah and when I exit the hovering I want to like revert back the color to what was there previously right so let's run the application once more and this should like reflect the changes so now it's green when I move the mouse inside it's red when I move outside it's green again right so pretty easy right there were two signals on entered and exited and don't forget you have to enable hovering if you don't enable it like if I comment it out and I run the application again uh, the mouse area won't be like capturing any hover like changes so if I hover my mouse over it it won't be capturing the signal right so for that you have to manually enable it uh, you have to manually enable the hovering right so now there is one more property called cursor shape like it's called cursor shape so right now if you see the mouse is a bar but if I hover over the application it's changing to a point like I I'll show you what happens I think that will be better so if I choose this one Qt's pointing hand cursor my bad let's run the application once you will see what I mean right now if you see the mouse has a different shape and when I hover over it it's a pointing hand shape like the shape changes right so that's a good signal that uh, that shows that this item is clickable right so to show that any item is clickable we can you introduce a mouse area and change the cursor shape to something else right like a pointing hand cursor it's from the cutes uh, it's one of the like properties of QT. so you can use that now I think uh, one more thing we can do is like I set the mouse area ID I'll give it an ID let's say mouse area itself like uh, sorry for the background noise uh, anyway if I let's see another way of handling the hover signals obviously for handling any hover signals you have to enable it right so this is very important this is mandatory now if I want to handle it somewhere else let's say I want to change the color let's say if the mouse areas contains mouse there is a property called contains mouse it means if the mouse area has our mouse like let's say we uh, let, let me run the application once now, now think of it like this right does this rectangle does this green rectangle contain the mouse or is this mouse inside this rectangle no right so the contains mouse property is false but as soon as I enter it the contains mouse property will become true right because the mouse area will contain our mouse currently so I hope you got that now let's give it another color I, I think I reverse the color ordering like if I uh, keep my mouse inside the mouse area it will be red otherwise it will be green right so yeah let's try this once I hope this is not too confusing for you right uh, like right now if you see the color is green as soon as I move inside the color becomes red right so why does this happen uh, because the when I move my mouse inside the mouse area this contains mouse property becomes true right I hope this is clear to you and I think that's more than enough of what you need now there is also one signal called on double click but if you like observe I, I, I'll show you the problem with the signal and how to like handle it later we'll use something called timers but I'll show you once right so let's say I'll say console dot log mouse is let's say the rectangle is clicked I hope this lecture is not too long for you and on double click I'll say rectangle is double clicked now if you see if you double click both of these signals will be handled right I'll show you how and that's error is let me show you if I clear this console and break it up and let me show you if I click right now I've only clicked once right let me show you I've only clicked once now I'll double click 
if you if you see clearly if i double click both of these signals are handled right that's because double clicking is nothing but clicking twice right so this signal is handled once and then this is handled right so many times you only want to handle this signal or you want to handle this differently and you want to handle this differently so i'll i'll show you how to do it later but let me give a hint use something called timer let's say you click once and you click immediately within a few fraction of a second right so let's say you click when the time is 10 seconds and immediately at 10.1 second you click again right so if the gap between these two times is very low then you can handle that and only like uh, calculate or only like uh, execute this function and if the time is pretty decent like let's say 15.1 seconds so there is a 5 second difference between these two right so then both of these will be different click signals right so i'll show you how to do, do that later when we talk about timers and that's a thing to note right that this double click signal is uh, not very like like very safe to use you have to also take care of this condition so that's all about mouse area i think uh, most of the important thing is hover enable feature right so this is important uh, and you can give it some width and height right now i'm feeling the pain but if you give it less width and less height then only that part will be affected right only that part will handle the mouse events then there is called something called cursor shape and there are some other cursor shape like if i say qt dot cursor uh, and let's say busy cursor it will be something like loading uh, let me show you now if i hover you see something like a loading cursor right uh, i hope this is visible so yeah you can change the cursor shape uh, this is a good indication that that uh, item is clickable right so if you hover over it the shape does not change but when i hover over this okay they should change this <laughs> like any good application where there is a button right they change the cursor shape there so it's visible for the user that yes this part is clickable so anyway where you want uh, the cursor shape to be something different you can use a mouse area right then there was uh, entered and exited which was better than the on hover change signal right so always use these two instead of that signal then there is on click and on double click uh, this is a bit problematic so that's all uh, if you want to see the mouse area if, if the current mouse is inside this mouse area you can always use the mouse area dot contains mouse property which is a read only property right so I think that's all and thank you for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you in the next session.